Hello, I'm Jontine Powell and this is Chapel Cottage Studio. Let's paint some boats today. In a previous video, I've shown you how to create the effect of the sunlight on the water in the sea. And also, in a previous video, I've shown you how to draw out your boats. My photo reference is here from a little trip to Tenby I took and I took a photograph of these boats. I love the long ropes at the front. And I'm going to use this for my photo reference, put my boats onto this picture. So I'm going to draw them out and get the drawing put on this picture. And then we're going to go into loading up the palette and get painting. So let's get some colour on our boats. On my palette, nice little tip here, my palettes are paper plates or plastic plates. No washing up. When you're finished painting for the day, throw them in the bin. Wonderful. And my paints are Galleria and I've got a cerulean blue or cerulean I never quite know which is right I've got a permanent rose cadmium red yellow ochre and I've got a white and on a separate palette I've got a little bit of Payne's grey so that it won't get mixed in with these for now so there's my colour palette it's going to go quite nicely with the background and they are very primary colours, seems to suit boats. Okay, right, so let's start off over here. I'm going to begin with the inside of the boat and I'm going to start just with a bit of white. Let's slap a bit of colour on and get some of the boat covered up. So I'm going to go up to there, right out to the side, just following my picture and it sneaks behind there comes back across here. Nice thick paint. I never use water with my paints unless it's something that needs to be see-through. I certainly don't want these see-through so I'm not using any water with the paints at all. Almost out to the edge and I'm using a filbert brush which is my favourite sort of brush. That's a flat brush with a rounded end. And I do like this shape. You can do straight lines and you can do curves nicely with it. It's a nice sort of middle-sized brush. So I find I can paint most things with it. Okay, so we've got a little bit of white on there. There's a shadow going down in there. And in order to make that shadow, I'm going to make a grey. But I never use black and white. If you're going to make a grey, mix a bit of blue, a bit of red, and a bit of yellow together and you'll get a grey but it'll be an interesting grey not just a flat black and white mix so I'm going to get this shadow in here with this grey always much much nicer to have a grey that has a bit of colour in it rather than just black and white in fact I'm going to up the blue a little bit in that I find it a little bit flat as it is that's a nicer colour Put that little shadow in there. I think that's almost all the white that's in here. I'll put a little bit of shadow around there. Break up the white a little bit. And also, I do have to say, this pink ink that's underneath it is dreadful for showing through. And you just have to keep going and covering it up because it does have a tendency to seep through your paint. It's a beautiful colour. But it's a bit pesky in that it keeps showing through. Okay, got the inside of the boat. Nice, nice, simple painting. I'm going to mix a little bit of pink with my red. Just so that it's not just a flat cadmium red. And let's go around the outside. I'll start with just a, a line to begin. Nice big brush. Be bold. Even my big brush is a bit too big for that. And there's a little bit at the front here I can see, a bit of red. Be bold with the colour. I'll take a slightly smaller brush, just a round watercolour brush, and fill in the bits that have a bit, bit more detail and are a little bit smaller. So we'll fit them in. And then I can see a little bit of a a flat bit along the back so I'll put that in it's just following the shapes that I can see in front of me 
round the edge really skinny round this edge really skinny there we are we need a little bit of shadow on this red so I'll make up a little bit more red put a bit of blue with it and that'll make a nice shadow color much nicer than adding black by the way sometimes you have to add black as well but if you can make a shadow by adding a color it's much much nicer I'm gonna come around here if these were straight lines I'd be using my credit card to stamp them but they're curvy lines so I can't do that so I have to be a bit more careful bit of shadow around the color around the front sorry a bit of shadow color around the front a bit of shadow under there there we are and then I can go again I'm the world's worst at washing my brush out I just like to get in there and paint so I'm going to put the light on it where I can see the light which is going around that corner going around this corner there we are and I can see just a little bit coming along the front flatten my brush out a little so I can make a light edge with it and I think that's about it maybe I'll put a tiny bit of light across there just because it would be nice there we are that's lovely right in the middle at the back of this boat I can see a dark shape again I'm not a mariner I have no idea what it is so I've used a bit of Payne's grey but I'm going to add a bit of colour to it so I'm just going to make a dark shape in the end it doesn't matter the people who are mariners will know what it is all you need to do is follow the shapes that you can see in front of you put a bit of light on it at the top lovely I can see a dark reddy pinky shape going along the side here again no idea what it is not important what's important put a bit of light on it take a bit of light across the top I'm also not too bothered ever about leaving paints to dry in between coats just add things on on top I quite like the way the paint starts to pull into the other colors here we are we're creating a little bit of something happening now so we'll put a base color on just the plain cerulean or cerulean feel free to contact me and tell me the right pronunciation fill in that shape covering my black paint lines by the way I painted these in black paint these outlines so that you could see them if I was doing it for myself it would just be pencil so I've only put them on there so that they're easy to see with the camera right this blue has a lot of shadow and I am going to use a little bit of Payne's grey in with it maybe a bit of my other colours and put in where I'm in shadow down here most of the underneath of this boat in fact is in shadow so let's bang it in and shall I put I'm going to put a little hint of that blue up there just because I want to and I'm going to go to my smaller brush there are some blue bits around the side no idea what they're called but they're very pretty we'll put them on I'm putting them in in a basic blue to start bumpers I think they might be called bumpers and then I'm going to put a bit of light on them and because I've got a blue underneath you can just pull this light across and it'll do all the work for you there's a bit across the front here if I left it to dry then I would just get white going over the top but because I'm working one color through the other it sort of does all the work for you and, and the little pieces finished and it's got lots of different tones already we are we'll put one round there boat number one finished right let's move to the middle boat oh I've got various di different brushes in my hands now 
start with my base coat my blue and my white this time because it's paler looking through the boats in the harbour of course this sea blue is a very popular colour so if in doubt I think when you're painting your boats make them blue and they'll be fine let's try not to lose my shapes too much that I've drawn so I don't have to go drawing them again there we are get the top of the boat in like so and then I'll make up a slightly different color maybe a little bit more blue a little bit less white and put in the shadow in here there we are great big brush just go for it because I can make the edges with this brush I don't have to go into little brushes because this one makes the edge for me they're very nice boats I may not be a mariner but I can appreciate the boats they're nice I'm gonna make an in-between blue for this bit and I think afterwards I'll probably find a bit of color to go on top of it to make it interesting that goes straight across there and back up there be bold simple shapes and it will always always work into my little brush and into my white See, I get a very dirty palette too. I'm not a purist, but I do like painting. I love painting with acrylics. I love the fact that they dry so quickly that I can go over them and over them. And I like using my fingers to blend them. A little bit of light across there. Your fingers are wonderful blending tools. And acrylics is a beautiful medium. And I find these gallery acrylics really nice. They're not terribly expensive. They're affordable and they're a good quality. What more do you want? I'll take a little line across there just to bring it up a little bit. Now, what am I missing? There's a bit of a plank coming across here. A seat. I'm sure it's not a plank, it's a seat. Let's put it in. There we are going across the front and again there's there's a shape in here that I'm sure is something to do with a motor or an engine or something. Let's put him in. Just a little shape doesn't have to be anywhere near correct and on this one I can actually see a little bit of shadow going around in here. Oh look my paintbrush has picked up a bit of red that's rather nice. We'll go with that, I like it. Disappears down there and disappears down there. It's the top of that boat. Don't quite believe that. I'll go back into that bit. There we are, that's nicer. And I might actually take a little bit of white across here as well. Bring up a bit of light across there as well. Anywhere you can find somewhere to add a little bit of colour. Let's go into my yellow ochre. And let's put a streak. It's not on the boat, but that's not important. I can see something going on around there, so we'll put some dots. And we're just going to, maybe I'll put some across here. Just to get something different happening in there. Lovely, that's nice, right? Onto the front of the boat, which is white. But it has reflections on it from the sea. Wash my brush out. Okay, back with you. This is white down here. This pink is going to show through. I'm just going to have to live with it. That's fine. We'll just say it's meant to be. There we are, coming around the side. Base colour of white. By the way, when you're using acrylics, do get a really good quality white. 
all of the other colors you can use any anything that you pick up is fine although galleria are my favored make doesn't really matter you can use whatever you pick up but when it comes to a white you really really need a good one because otherwise everything comes through it now see i think that's rather nice there because it's picking up what happens in the sea so i'm just going to go with that and let it be i'm going to add a little bit of blue down here squish it in again bit of finger painting you see how it just gives a bit of interest to that white base layer yes i like that that's not straight round there then I'm going to go to my little brush, a bit of really dark. I'll pick up some of that Payne's Grey, put a bit of blue with it. And we're just going to go around the edge here. Create the front of the boat. And I think yeah, do you know what? I'm going to blur that a bit and create a shadow underneath it and then I'm going to go again with it. I'm going to use it to make a shadow underneath. Like so. Then I'm going to go again with the dark over the top, create the top bit again. And then the smudged in bit creates a nice shadow underneath it. Don't be afraid to use whatever works. Don't like that so much. I'm going to add a bit of yellow, create a grey on there instead. There we are. That's nice. Okay, second boat done. Let's move along to the last one. Oh, this has got that nice yellow ochre inside. Yellow ochre with a bit of white. I was quite pleased to find one that wasn't blue. Although, of course, please always remember that you can make them whatever colour you want them unless you're doing a commission for somebody and then they'd be really cross. There we are. Let's get the inside there done in that ochre. Ochre and white and we can see it. Oh, not much of it there. A bit of it by here. Most of it is going out of shot. Yeah, and the rest of it's going to disappear. A little bit of white with it, maybe a bit of pink with it, or red, or whatever you fancy. And then I'm going to put this plank across here in. Oh, that's a bit too yellowy, that's a bit too much the same. So you just add a bit of something else. Don't worry about washing out, scraping off any of that with acrylics. You just keep painting, and it's lovely. We'll lighten it up with a bit of white. Whoops, lost my line there a bit. There we are, that one works. There's a shadow down in there. So I'm going to use that ochre and again I'm going to put some red with it and some blue with it and turn it into a grey. If you mix red, blue and yellow you will get a grey. Dependent on which reds, which blues, which yellows you'll get all different greys. Try it out. I just want a dark colour there. And there are things happening down there. I have no idea what it is. But we're just going to put in shapes. It's the same principle again. You don't have to know what something is. All you have to do is observe. And then the people who know what they are will know. That's fine. Another seat across the front here. Pop it in and in front of that a little bit of a shadow. Back to my nice big brush for the front of the boat. Thick, thick paint. Whoops, I went over my shadow, no matter. Thick, thick paint. It's going to allow some of the inks to come through, but I've decided I quite like it. So it's okay. If you don't like it, you'll have to keep layering until it's disappeared. But I think it's rather nice. It's like reflections where the colors come through. All right, let's come down here. 
get this boat sat in the water leave a little gap under there and if I leave a weeniest gap there that will give me the shadow already overlap that bit come down there now we need again to make some shadows underneath put a bit of blue on it squish it in bit of blue up above that blue I think squish it in allow the pinks to come through because they're rather nice and let's put the bumpers on the side and again if it's not the right name feel free to tell me but whatever the name is they're nice just pop them on just as paint strokes maybe get another color in there to give them a shadow and I'm going to my smaller brush to make a really dark shadow underneath them and I have used a little bit of Payne's grey this time because that shadow is quite deep and under that one now let's have a look couple of bits to put in before we finish Put that along there, get my shadow back up, whoops, that's not a shadow colour. This is what you get for being somebody who doesn't wash their brush out very much. There we are, get that shadow back along there. I feel I want a bit of a dark edge along there as well. I don't like the motor thingy on this one. But I suppose, we'll, no, I'm not going to put him in, I'm just going to put something there because I don't like what's there. Okay, now, there's one bit that's still missing and it's the shadow or the reflection in the water. And in order to get that, I'm going to go back to my inks and I'm going to put the blue that I used in the water on my plate and I'm going to put the pink that I used in the water on my plate. And a nice soft brush. Going to mix them together a bit. Let's have a try. That's quite nice. Maybe thin it down a little with a bit of water. Now, what I look, when I look up here, what is absolutely lovely is the reflections under here, or the dark, dark reflections. And I'm going to make sure that they sort of go along with these ripples. Moving along, moving along. The end of that has to be directly underneath the boat. You can put an extra blip in somewhere. And this side of the reflections really has to follow the same sort of curves. And then we're just gonna paint it in over the top of the water and because it's ever so slightly see-through the water's going to come through it the inks that you've put on before are going to come through it and you'll believe it you'll believe the shadow or the reflection a little bit more it's really clear and I may want to put just a few of these little sort of outriders out here. Not too many of them, but one or two will look nice. Just break it up a little bit. We are. Let's move to the next boat. Straight down from the side. And it's going to join with that one for just a little way. And then it's going to go on its own way down here. Doesn't go down quite as far as that one. Follow the ripples, colour in. You've got to work fairly fast with the inks or they'll dry and then you'll have a line which you don't want. So I'm trying to keep, keep the edge wet. And then coming around the other side, it's got to go, it's got to become vertically underneath the bit that it's reflecting a 
and they really sit the boats into the water. And again, let's take a couple of little outriders, a couple of little ripples that are going a different way. Maybe those are going to join up with each other a little bit over there. Make some little patterns. And the last one. And it's going to just touch that one. And then come away from it. And it's going to make its own pattern in the water. Which is going to go right down here. And fill it in. Maybe a little bit of water. There we are, a little bit of ripplies. Try to make it work, try to make it make sense. I don't like that one, I'm going to absorb him a little bit into the others. Put a couple of these little outsidey bits around it. And again, do try not to be too patterny. It's very tempting to make patterns rather than try and be random. I can see that that doesn't show up. So right at the end, I'm just going to put a dark line around there. Make a dark edge to this because you can't see it otherwise and a bit of a shadow under there. And I'm just using the inks I've got on my brush. It's fine, doesn't matter what you use. And there we are. We've got our three boats bobbing on the lovely lit water. Okay, I've finished up these boats by just adding the little white ropes with a thin brush. Don't forget to add the reflections or the shadows, shadowy reflections of these little white ropes. I love the way that the pink underneath and the blue has come through the white paint. I think it's really nice. You've got to work with what you've got and sometimes it's a really nice look. I hope you enjoy doing it. It was quite a long video. Feel free to stop halfway and have a cup of tea. Thank you very much.